What happens when your body can no longer control blood sugar levels? Your body can no longer make enough insulin or the cells become insulin resistant. Around 64,000 people receive a type 1 diabetes diagnosis each year and over 462 million have type 2 diabetes with numbers skyrocketing. Type 1 diabetes results from an autoimmune condition, causing your body to stop producing insulin and requiring insulin injections just to live. Whereas, when the cells are insulin resistant or not enough is produced, type 2 takes hold. Why? Blood sugar floods the bloodstream and the pancreas pumps out more insulin to push blood sugar into cells. Over time, the cells can no longer take this pressure, so they don't respond to insulin at all. Let's look at four foods that regulate the functioning of the immune system, stabilizes blood sugars, feed cells so they function correctly, and lowers cholesterol. Eggs. Eggs are high in zinc, folate, selenium and vitamins A, B and K. In several studies, people with diabetes who consumed 5 to 7 eggs a week showed a reduction in blood sugar. Eggs nutrients boosts immunity, reduces risks of allergies due to its immune modulating properties, raises good cholesterol and is an excellent source of protein to keep blood sugar levels stable. Eggs benefits do not stop there for those with diabetes. Lutein and zeaxanthin participate in vision health, choline assists in the building of cell membranes, omega-3 fatty acids feeds cells and stabilizes blood sugars and is a complete protein to keep you fuller for longer. Have them in omelettes, Potatoes, scrambled or fried. How do you like yours? Quinoa. Look no further than this cute, speedy little number that makes a great substitute for pasta or rice. Considered a complete protein, the combination of fibre and protein means it's digested slowly, keeping you fuller for longer without spikes in blood sugar. It is also a good source of copper, manganese, magnesium, iron and zinc. All these nutrients are vital for adequate cell functioning. Quinoa provides a healthy dose of anti-inflammatory antioxidants, quercetin and camphorol. When blood inflammation levels are high, it increases your risk of autoimmune conditions and other health issues. Now, it is best to soak quinoa in order to make the nutrients more bioavailable. Eat it like rice, stuff quinoa in grilled zucchini, add it to a tasty chicken salad, or have it for a protein-enriched breakfast. For those that frequently experience kidney stones, you may need to avoid quinoa due to its oxalate content. Spinach Hands down, spinach is one of the best sources of magnesium, a vital nutrient that assists the body to use insulin to absorb sugars. High in vitamin K and folate, essential nutrients to manage blood sugars more efficiently. It is also a rich source of vitamin C, E, iron and even calcium. And of course, the anti-inflammatory antioxidants quercetin and camphorol. This water-soluble vegetable only has a minimal effect on blood sugar and due to the content of soluble fibre, it can actually decrease blood sugar levels. 
Spinach is also a low glycemic food. The glycemic index indicates what foods cause spikes in insulin and which ones don't. Foods that feature on the low glycemic index do not cause spikes in insulin. However, it does contain oxalates. For those that experience kidney stones, it is best to avoid or limit for some people may not be able, have to avoid completely and make sure to drink lemon water every morning to help to avoid or break down small kidney stones. You can add spinach to omelettes, blend in shakes, sprinkle over a salad or stir fry or my favourite, slice it over pizza. Cinnamon This fragrant spice has shown to help keep blood sugar levels stable and lower cholesterol. In some research, just a quarter a teaspoon of cinnamon daily improved blood sugar fasting. The compound cinnalidehyde gives cinnamon its distinct flavour and aroma and has demonstrated not only antibiotic properties, but other medicinal benefits. Loaded polyphenols, cinnamon even outranked garlic as a superfood as it is so powerful that it makes a natural preservative. Cinnamon can help to reduce LDL blood cholesterol and inflammation. LDL blood cholesterol is the bad cholesterol and helps to stabilize HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol, and can even reduce infections. Cinnamon's blood sugar lowering properties is what is standing out in the nutrition community. Cinnamon decreases the amount of glucose entering the bloodstream by interfering with digestive enzymes and breaking, slowing down the breakdown of carbohydrates in the digestive tract. And perhaps even more impressive is the compound that mimics insulin and proven glucose uptake by cells. You can sprinkle over your latte, muffins or pancakes, add to muesli or oatmeal, or just pop a quarter to one teaspoon into a shake. One of my favourites, I put that into my power smoothie every morning. What foods have you tried? Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification to stay updated when I release another video. Thanks for watching.